Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So today I'm going to be attempting one of the challenge modes. I asked you guys last time if you wanted to see challenges, and you guys really did. So we will not be doing Whiteout today or Hopeless Rescue or The Hunted. We are going to be checking out the Nomad Challenge, which should be relatively interesting. Survive for three days in 15 specific locations across the game world. So it's going to be very interesting, but uh, we should be able to give it a shot. So let's go ahead and call this, uh, I don't know why it's challenge 20. Let's call it Nomad Attempt number one. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The world has changed. The only way to survive is to keep moving. Survive for three days in each. Uh, sur survive for three days each in 15 specific locations across the game world. Okay. So let's go ahead and see where it's going to start us. Uh, oh, I believe we're in the farmhouse in Pleasant Valley, and we definitely are. This is the farmhouse. Okay. Yep, farmhouse. So, uh, I guess we can go ahead and look in our journal where we need to go. So we need to survive three days in all these different locations. Camp office, trapper's cabin, forestry outlook, upper dam, lower dam, barn, uh, radio control hut... Skeeter's Ridge, Basement, Rural Storage, uh, Quinset Gas Station, Abandoned Outlook, uh, Mountaineers, Hut, Lonely Lighthouse, Stone Church, Cinder Hills Coal Mine, Crumbling Highway Basement. So, got a lot of different interesting places. Some of these places I don't know about or I have not heard about. So, should be relatively interesting to try to find these locations. I'm going to head to the ones that I do know, which seems to be quite a few in... Uh, in Mystery Lake, those are the ones that I do know of, or at least most of the names of. The other ones, I'm not 100% sure. Rifle cartridge, I don't have a rifle, but whatever. We'll go ahead and just get everything we can out of uh, this house and start our trip. Just because, uh, yeah, I, I we need to start surviving. Three days in each location is going to be a little tricky. I don't know how well this is going to go, but... Once uh, this fails, if we do end up failing and not being able to do it, then uh, once we fail this one, we'll go ahead and straight to the uh, to the whiteout challenge and see if that one's going to be one that we can actually complete. But uh, we're just going to give this a shot, see if it's possible, and uh, if we can do it, we can do it. If not, then well, what have we, here? we can't do it. It is a challenge, so it is going to be tough, but. The, I think one of the hardest parts is just trying to find all these locations that they want us to stay in. I don't know everything by name. There's some things that I don't know. Uh, some things that I do know. So, I think what we could do is probably work our way from Mystery Lake. Metal pan. Oh. I was like, what? I can pick up a metal pan? Alright, so also just as we're doing this, I just want to apologize for my energy levels. I'm just exhausted. I've had a very busy week. Um, doing a lot of physical things outdoors and stuff like that. Just crazy for the past couple days. Um, working on uh, Polecat's new Crown Victoria that he got, actually. Um, and it was something that I wasn't expecting to do in the middle of uh, in the middle of the week, but I did. So I'm just very exhausted. Been up doing long nights, working on things, coming home late, not getting much sleep, getting out in the afternoon. You know, so... I'm tired, and it shows, I can tell, I can hear that I'm tired, I can feel that I'm tired. So I do apologize if I'm just not as high energy as I normally am, which I really not am a high energy person as it is, but I'm even more low energy now. So I do apologize, um, I'm just exhausted. So once I can catch up on some good sleep, which I've been trying to do today, um, it's just, yeah, I'm just really, really tired. Didn't think this weekend or these past couple, like three, four days were gonna knock me out as much as they have. I'm just, ugh, so tired, so tired. All right, so going pretty well so far, picking up everything we can, and uh, we'll deal with it later before we leave. But for the most part, we're getting some pretty decent stuff. I think we already searched this place. Let's go and search this room. Ooh, yeah, cup of coffee and that hinterland mug that I still really want. 
Um, so yeah, this challenge, I think this challenge is going to be relatively difficult. I just have to start finding some of these locations. I'm not sure with a couple this. of them, but that shouldn't be too bad. I might be able to do some searching or something and try to find where these places are because I do want to complete this challenge. I just don't know exactly where uh, some of this stuff is. And it doesn't seem like, it honestly doesn't seem like it's uh, time sensitive. It doesn't seem like I have a certain amount of time to survive in these different locations for three days. It's just, I can take as long as I want and get to all three different, or all different locations and then just survive for three days. And if I die, then, you know, I die. So, and I don't know, does that mean if I'm surviving in that location, does that mean I have to stay indoors in that location? How does this work? Like, can I be in the area? Can I just discover it? And I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But this is a good place to start. I mean, this house has a ton of supplies, which I guess is kind of why they started you here. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if you were really struggling for supplies like you typically are. So I can see why they kind of dropped you off in an area that has a decent amount of stuff, at least in the beginning. So you can kind of get your feet underneath you and have somewhat of a... Uh, a good start with some sort of supplies because otherwise yeah it would just be way too difficult so again the hardest thing is going to be clothing clothing is always the hardest thing but i think we picked up a down ski jacket already which is relatively good decent down vest as well which is nice so we'll figure it out with clothing and staying warm which is going to be a concern which it always is, unless you have the good clothing, which we are not going to have enough time to make in this challenge mode, I don't believe. So. Okay. Make sure to grab all the water. That's some pretty decent water there, drinking water. We are now encumbered, but that's fine. Because we have a lot of stuff that we don't really need. We're just kind of picking up everything right now. So. We'll deal with some stuff we don't need. We don't need all the books that we've picked up. You know, books are very, very heavy. They're good. They help with the fires. But they're very, very heavy. Peacoat. A little bit dark in here. I believe this is the master, isn't it? No. The master is the other one, I believe. This is just a bedroom. New insulated vest. Huh. Okay. Okay. Decent heavy wool sweater, which is good. We're gonna search everything here. Is that a book? We don't need a book. I have too many books as it is. Search under the bed. Nope. Still looking for a rifle. That'd be nice. That'd be the next thing I need. Okay, so. This, let's check out this last room, and I believe after this we can go ahead and head on out of here. Start working our way out of Pleasant Valley. Um, which is going to be a little bit interesting, to be honest. Uh, because even getting out of Pleasant Valley is, is uh, a little bit uh, interesting. So, we'll see. We'll see how this challenge is. All these challenges test... All your knowledge of the long dark and the world and everything and uh, I gotta admit I'm not the most knowledgeable person when it comes to this type of stuff I think there's something is there something there no nothing there is this a, no okay I think that's it I don't think there's anything else that we're missing so I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and Head on out of here. And do a quick little overview. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Seems to be pretty good. So let's quickly just go through our clothing options here since we've picked up so much stuff. Uh, decent insulated boots. Much better than the sneakers that I'm wearing. So we'll go ahead and drop those. Heavy wool sweater. Better than a worn thin wool sweater. Go ahead and drop that. Uh... New insulated vest. Which is not... Well, maybe. I don't know. Not the greatest. Get rid of those sneakers. Well, let's actually try the winter coat. I think the winter coat... Yeah. Overwrites everything. So. 
And that's going to be our best bet. Go ahead and put on a good toque. We'll drop these other ones that we don't need. Uh, worn wool socks compared to decent sports socks. Definitely don't need decent sports socks. We could actually start tearing all this stuff up, really. Because we're going to need the... Uh, Oh, that is actually much better. This pea coat. And I believe that's it. I think this is all the clothes. We need to pick all this stuff back up. I just realized. Because uh, this is some pretty decent material that we have here. But at least we can go through and get a bunch of cloth from this and hopefully start repairing some of the clothes clothing that we do have and are going to use. Your leather, which is always nice. We only have two hours of daylight left, which is unfortunate. I don't think we're going to make much progress today. I think we're just going to try to get ourselves a little bit set up for uh, tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and just start harvesting all this stuff, which will help us because we have a sewing kit so we can start putting some of this cloth back together. Don't need a thin wool sweater. But yeah, it should be relatively good. We got some decent clothes. Nothing crazy, but nothing terrible. So, should be good. Should be a decent start. We shouldn't have to uh, be super concerned about the weather. We're still going to have to be concerned about it for sure. Absolutely. But, um, you know, it shouldn't be the worst. We're just going to try to repair most of the clothing we already have. Harvest some of the stuff we don't, which should help with weight, too, which is good. We don't want to be out there being too encumbered. So we got two more toques, and then I think a pair of socks, and then I think we're good. Yep. Not sure how much weight this is actually saving, but we haven't gotten encumbered out of encumbered yet, so. <laughs> Not doing too much, I guess. Okay, so... Since we're here, let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, we can not repair in the dark. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start a light then. Let's see if maybe... Actually, there's a fireplace. There is. There's a fireplace right here. So, chance of success, 75%. See if we can adjust this at all. 80%. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go 80% on starting this fire. See if we can get this fire started. So hopefully we can spend this night making, uh, repairing some of the clothing that we have that needs to be repaired. And it'll help us out with weight. We'll get rid of a couple books that we have. We'll get rid of some of the firewood that we have. So... We can't start this journey being encumbered. Might as well use this stuff now instead of leaving it or just carrying it and being encumbered and slowing us down. So, good workout. It's kind of the plan right now. Go ahead and see how long we can get out of all these books. All right, so we got four and a half hours of fire here, which should be plenty, and we should also be able to repair our clothing, which is really nice. Oh, failed. All right, we got to keep an eye on the fire, too. We want to make sure we got four hours, nine minutes. We want to make sure this fire doesn't go out. So let's give it another shot repairing the boots. Hey, there we go. Repair the... Uh, Jacket, we can. There we go. We'll just start repairing all this stuff. Uh, 52 minutes. Let's. We got an hour 47 on the fire. Make it 4:16 because we're gonna be here for a little while. I'm gonna try to repair everything I can, just so we're out there in the best clothing. Because it's not well. It's not gonna be the best clothing, but. At least, you know, the clothing that we will have will be in relatively good shape and shouldn't be too bad. 
kind of get everything up to 100% if we can. Because that'll really help us just on the journey, on the trip. Staying warm, staying in, you know, out of relative coldness. Uh, still going to need 16 minutes of repair here. Got to check on this fire as well. We don't want this to go out. Hour 35. Let's make it three hours. Okay. Go and repair our gloves here. 30 minutes. Don't want to run out of cloth either. I'm not sure how many more we have. Let's do our socks. Nope. Failed. And we don't have any more cloth. So the lowest thing we have is 72%, which we don't have any more cloth to, uh, to fix, which we actually could probably change, I think, couldn't we? What well, requires a hunting knife? I don't have a hunting knife? Really? Wow. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's it. I guess I can't do anything else, so... Which is pretty good, because as of right now, we have a, uh, feels like 128 degrees. That is very hot. <laughs> Let's just eat and drink and do all this really quickly. Eat this. This is raw? That was a terrible idea. I just got food poisoning. Wow. Oh, what a way to die. Oh, I just want to die. Okay, good. Didn't even think about eating that... Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, that was really stupid. I think we just really messed ourselves up there. We're still a little bit hungry, too. Just try to finish getting ourselves some food. And then we will uh, start our trip, I guess. Okay, so we only have less than an hour of darkness. We have another hour on this uh, fire. So what we should do, just to help ourselves out, is uh, we'll go ahead and let a, lay a bed roll down. Get a little bit of sleep. At least we get something better than nothing. A little sleep by a fire for a little while. Should make us feel better. All right, so we still have food poisoning. Uh, we're going to feel weakened for the next while until we can get a... Uh, until we can get some rest to get more nine, out, more nine more hours of rest to be able to get rid of the food poisoning. But we're all here and we're ready. Let's go ahead and just head on out of the farmhouse just to get a little view of our surroundings little view of the condition of the weather. All right, feels like 16 degrees. Not very windy, a little bit cloudy, but for the most part, feels, uh, feels relatively good. Doesn't feel too bad, which is gonna be perfect. So we'll start our trip next time. We're gonna be, we're, we're a little bit tired, but that shouldn't hurt us too bad. We should be able to find our way back to Mystery Lake, and uh, start getting all these locations done, because uh, this is quite a big list. So, I know this episode wasn't the greatest uh, to start with, but it was very necessary, just getting everything set up that we needed. So, uh, But we're looking pretty good. We have a decent amount of supplies. We're not encumbered. Um, we have pretty good clothing. Uh, we still need a couple things like rifles and a knife and stuff like that, but... For the most part, we're doing okay. Uh, we need to get some more rest for the food poisoning that we have, but uh, we're just going to have to kind of deal with that for now. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Next time, we're already ready to go. We're going to head right on out, out the door, and start the trip. So, yeah, I guess you could say this is the first startup of the uh, Nomad Challenge of just getting everything set up and ready out of the farmhouse, which I... Guess is where it starts everybody. I don't I don't know. Maybe it's different locations, but it would make sense if it started everybody in the farmhouse. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Remember to hit the like button, it really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.